comes a giant fish! Damn it, no! Hey guys, it's Aremia, and we're playing Equip Spell Warriors with a little extra spice thrown in. I'll explain as we go, so let's jump right into... Game 1. We're going second with a pretty decent warrior hand, and our opponent is playing heroes. I'm a big fan of heroes, but they can take some pretty long turns with all the searching and summoning they do. You guys don't need me to narrate all that, so let's just skip ahead to see how in trouble we are. Wow, it seems like they really popped off. This Link monster doesn't do much, but the rest is another story. Malicious Bane is immune to destruction by battle and card effects. Absolute Zero destroys all of our monsters if he leaves the field. Plasma is negating all of our monster effects. And they have two Sunrises that can play off of each other. But this Plasma is definitely the scariest threat, so let's pitch a Bamboo Sword to play Forbidden Droplet. Alright, now we can actually play the game. Since Cursed Bamboo Sword was sent to the graveyard, we can grab any Bamboo Sword card from our deck. So we'll pick up a Broken Bamboo Sword, which might not look like much, but it forms a powerful card draw engine for equip spell decks like ours. Now we can Normal Summon Fire Flint Lady and Special Summon Infer Noble Knight Renaud. We can use his ability here to recycle that Cursed Bamboo Sword and reuse its search effect since it is not a hard once per turn. Equip the Bamboo Sword just to send it to the graveyard by Link Summoning Isolde. Two Tales of the Noble Knights. When she's summoned, we can add any warrior from deck to hand, but we are restricted from using that monster for the rest of the turn. Since we're trying to KO our opponent this turn, we're just going to use this effect to thin our deck a bit. And since the Cursed Bamboo Sword was sent away again, we can find another copy of Golden Bamboo Sword. If we control a Bamboo Sword card, these are just as good as Pot of Greed. Maybe even better because we can have more than one of them. But before we start drawing cards, let's go ahead and use Isolde's second ability. By sending equip spells to the graveyard, we can special summon a warrior with the same level. So bury four equips and summon the armed samurai. Ben K. Uh, close. Ben K. This guy was released way back in 2005 with Flaming Eternity. He might seem weak at first glance, but he gains additional attacks equal to the number of spells he has equipped. If you're familiar with this card, you might know about the one turn kill where you load him up with equip spells and let him swing for game. Now we will be using Benjamin to attack for game, but you know we gotta throw in some extra spice on the way. Besides, all of our equip spells are in the graveyard now, we couldn't possibly bring them all back. Hey. Hey, is that foreshadowing? Since another cursed bamboo sword was used to summon Ben K, we can grab our last pot of greed, and since we've thinned our deck quite a bit, I think it's about time we start using all this card draw. Draw a lightning storm off the upstart goblin. Well, that certainly would have been an easier way to win the game, but it doesn't really matter. We just need to find two more cards for the combo, and this game is as good as ours. Equip Ben K with the broken bamboo sword and draw another upstart goblin. Might as well play it. There it is, that's the jank we're looking for. Guilford the Legend. Also released in 2005, this version of Guilford was the boss monster of the Warrior's Triumph structure deck. You might be thinking, did I make an entire deck just as an excuse to play another old structure deck card? Yes. Well, yeah, but just look at him. Who wouldn't want to play Guilford, right? That's enough of me gushing. When he's summoned, he can equip all the equip spells in your graveyard to warriors you have on the field. The the downside is that he uh can't be special summoned. What was that? Okay, he can't be special summoned. So you have to tribute summon him with two sacrifices just like the old days. And you might recall, we already used up our normal summon for the turn. Guilford wouldn't want it to be easy anyway, so we just need to find one more card to finish off our opponent. Activate another Golden Bamboo Sword, and... Oh! That was a lot quicker than I thought it would be. Angel Zero One. This card can special summon itself if you reveal a level 7 or higher monster, and, to top it off, it gives you an additional normal summon. It was originally designed to help you tribute summon for the Egyptian gods, but we can also use it to execute our battle plan. By revealing our favorite general, we can special summon the angel and tribute summon for the legendary warrior, Guilford. Now we can finally use that ability to equip Ben K with every equip spell in our graveyard, pumping his attack all the way up to 4,000. Normally these two sunrises would put us in an awkward position, since if we attacked one, the other would get to destroy our monster. 
but we don't actually need to attack any of their monsters with the equip spell, Noble Arms Claret. By paying 500 life points, it enables the equipped monster to attack our opponent directly. And since Ben K has five spells equipped to him right now, he can declare a total of six attacks during the battle phase. So attack once, twice, and there's the surrender. Nice, man, I love winning with old jank cards. Might as well go again. Game two. Okay, going second again, and we actually have the combo in hand already since Sublimation Knight is a one card assault. Now, what is our opponent playing this time? Preparation for Dark Magician stuff. Cool, let's skip ahead to see how much they do. So they were able to get out the Dark Magician's plural and set an Eternal Soul, but no Dark Magical Circle on board means we don't have to be afraid of any banishing shenanigans. We draw a red layer, which can be special summoned if we don't control any monsters. So we might as well summon him in case they have some interaction. Next, we can normal summon our Sublimation Knight, who can use his effect to equip a Squeak Knight from our deck. And they chain Eternal Soul to summon a Dark Magician. I don't much care about them getting monsters since we're just going to swing at them directly, but I'd rather not risk them drawing an extra card. Now, normally we would summon the Squeak Knight here, but since we already have two warriors on board, we'll get rid of him to play Forbidden Droplet. Now, we can link up to a soul and activate her first effect to add a warrior from deck to... Ash Blossom? You fell victim to one of the classic blunders! Isolde is an important card to negate, but you always want to save Ash to negate the second ability, since that's what lets us summon a monster and keep playing. So, bury four equip spells and summon out Ben K once again. We can also grab another Bamboo Sword, so we might as well dig for more interaction. A second Ben K and Guilford. Well, we already had the combo, so... <laughs> you can summon all the monsters you want to, opponent. It doesn't really matter if we're attacking you directly. Game 3. We have a couple searchers and sublimation knight, but no interaction, and we're up against... Oof. Adventure. Salamangrate Adventure. Okay, well we could still draw forbidden... Reinforcement of the army. Alright, well let's try to bait out their negation. Activate Heritage of the Chalice to try to search for Noble Arms Durendal. And they shotgun their Ash Blossom. Okay. They have at least one more negate with this Griffin Rider, and we don't know what that face down is. So activate Rhoda and find a Fire Flint Lady. This level one can special summon herself, but we need to control another warrior monster to do so. Summon and activate Sublimation, and there's the Griffin Rider negate. Usually we would be pretty stuck here, since these two monsters can only special summon themselves when we have other warriors on board. But luckily we have this one for one that can help start our combo regardless. Summon another copy of Fire Flint Lady, as well as our Renan. When Renan is summoned, we can try to bring back the Sublimation Knight and... Called by the Grave. I was afraid that might have been an impermanence, so it honestly could have been a lot worse. Now we can go into Assault without fear of negation and find a Sublimation just in case we can't finish them on the next turn. Next, let's use Assault again to summon Ben K and grab a Bamboo Sword from our deck. And... Uh... I guess we can't do much else. Since we don't have another way to draw cards or summon monsters, we can't go for the rest of our combo. But we can link summon a monster you probably haven't seen before. Raten, the Heavenly General. Upon entering the battle phase, he can destroy any one card our opponent controls. So destroy the opponent's fateful adventure that was protecting their token and attack over it before ending our turn. Now they're just left with their field spell, bail links, and a top deck to dig themselves out. If they hadn't shotgun their negation, this game probably would have ended in a loss for us. But it's all about game knowledge, and in the moment, you can't expect players to know what to negate in every matchup. So don't be too mean to these players in the comments, okay? Now, to skip forward, we eventually summon Saryuja to go digging for our combo, and while we can't quite find it, we do manage to make a pretty big Guilford and swing for the win with the man himself. So how did we do overall? Well, I played a lot of games with the deck, mainly because I thought Guilford looked really cool when I was a kid. Playing throughout Gold Rank, the record was a little less than 50-50. We obviously lost to stuff like Tear Laments, or if our opponents had too much interaction for us to deal with, but sometimes we were able to score wins just by summoning Ben K and equipping him with Mage Power and Clarent. And it might not be as cool, 
But if the combo gets interrupted, you can always just go into Access Code or Avermax protected by IP Mascarena, since those cards can be enough to win games on their own too. Now, you might think Guilford is a total meme card, and I'm not saying you're wrong, but he is the only card in the game, as far as I know, with this mass equip effect. If some new busted equip spell strategy is printed, he might suddenly become a very strong card. You never know, if cards like Neospatian Aqua Dolphin or Mushroom Man No. 2 can become meta, then anything is possible. I didn't actually notice this before, but those are both level 3 warriors. Huh. Well, I guess the only thing left to do is... Game 4. Psych! <laughs> you didn't think we'd actually end it there, did you? We had to fit in one more game. And it looks like we're up against a Punk Psychic deck. Wow, it's almost like I knew what we were playing against ahead of time. Psychic and Punisher is an extremely powerful monster, but it doesn't matter how unaffected it is if we can ignore it completely. Summon our red layer and... Maxi! Well, that will make it a little harder, but we have to get pretty lucky to pull off this combo anyway, so it doesn't really make much of a difference to me. Summon Ben K and link up to a soul. Then our deck, summon our second Ben K and grab another Golden Bamboo Sword. Let's go searching for our general. And... no Guilford in sight. But wait, can we still win here? Equip Benjamin with the three equip spells in her hand and activate Cursed Bamboo Sword's second ability. We can bounce a Bamboo Sword back to hand to let Ben K attack directly this turn. And nothing says we can't just equip him again with the card we just bounced. And I'm afraid it doesn't matter how big your monster is, opponent. Our attacks are coming straight for you. And why don't you attack those like and subscribe buttons? <laughs> Oh, goodness. Uh, but if you did like this video, you could also check out the last Silly Strats episode where we managed to hit the jackpot by giving our opponents cards. Now, I know you guys are probably tired of seeing subscribe graphs, but I find this really funny. This was my sub ratio after the last Silly Strats video. So let's see if we can get it all the way up to 2% this time. Or don't. Either way, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.